In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a waving text in Blender as we see here, with two different orientations of the text. So let us start with a blank new file. We don't need this default cube. Instead, let's add a text object. We would like to add our own text in place of this default text, so we need to go to the edit mode. Delete this with backspace and enter whatever text you like. We'll simply use our channel name. Now go back to the object mode. Then we'll go to this text tab. We need to first change this horizontal alignment to center. Now, we'll convert it into a 3D object by adding some depth to this. So expand this geometry section. Then enter point 1 in this extrude field. And we'll add some bevel as well, for rounded corners, so enter point 02 in this depth field. Next we'll add a wave pattern to this. So go to the modifiers tab, and add a wave modifier. Now we can see a wave pattern here. But if you zoom and look closely, you will see some deformations created on the surface of this text. This is a limitation of the traditional text objects. You can use remesh modifier to get rid of this, but another easy way is to create your text objects through geometry nodes. We have created a tutorial on how to create better text using geometry nodes. The link is given in the video description. But this is not a showstopper, it won't be noticeable to the user when we render the scene. But the text is almost dancing here. So let us disable this cyclic option for the time being. Now if we play the animation, we'll see only one single wave and then it will stop. However, currently the center of this wave is at its geometric center. We want to shift it to this end of the text, so that the wave propagates in this fashion. So we have to expand this start position section. Then slowly increase this start position, like this. And if you play it again, the wave will now move correctly. Now, if you want to play it multiple times, repeatedly, you have to enable this cyclic option. But we want to keep a suitable gap between each two peaks of this wave for a better pattern. So we need to increase this width field, let us change it to say 5. With that change, if we run it once again, we'll see a series of waves, going one after another, which looks very cool. And we can change the height of each peak of this wave, by changing this height field. Let's make it 0.75. We can also change the width of each individual wave in this wave pattern, by changing this field called narrowness. A lower value would mean a wider wave. With these settings, we'll get a nice and repetitive wave pattern for our text. And we can also control the speed of this wave animation. Let us expand this time section. Then we need to change the speed factor. Let's make it 0.4. If we now play it, we'll get a faster moving wave. I think it looks better with a slow motion, so let's go back to 0.2. This will be our final output, we get a nice and slow moving wave pattern. Super cool! However, you may notice some deformations like this, for the text. It won't be noticeable when we add a material to our text field and take a render output. Next, we will discuss how to create this wave pattern for a vertical text. So let's switch over to the solid view mode. We cannot do this with a simple text field, because we have to rotate the text to make it upright and that will affect the orientation of this wave. We cannot apply the transformations for a text object. So we need to first convert this text into a mesh object, from this menu option. We should also remove the duplicate vertices in the edit mode. Press A to select all the vertices. Then go to the mesh menu, go to merge, and select merge by distance. You'll notice that many vertices got removed which are duplicates. Now back to the object mode, we have to go to the object properties. Let's change this X rotation to 90. As a result, we'll get a vertical text. And we need to apply the transformations for this object, from this menu option. Please remember that it's a very important step. Now go to the modifiers tab, and like before, we have to add here a wave modifier. Let us change this width field, maybe to 5. And narrowness to 1. Then in the start position, we'll move the start position of the wave, to the right side end of the text. Finally, if we run this, the text will follow the wave pattern in a vertical fashion, so you can place the text in either of the two ways shown here. And please note that these positions are relative positions, so even if you move the text or animate its position, it should still work fine. But rotation of the text can ruin the wave pattern, so do take care of that beforehand. That's all we wanted to discuss in this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching, 
and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.